Too many drippers on a line can be trouble for your drip irrigation system. If you've ever wondered how many drippers you can run on a line, you're not alone. It's one of those common questions we get. Today, I'm gonna break it down for you. Technically, space is the only limiting factor, and you can put as many as it will fit. But in irrigation, we're also concerned with performance. And if you have too many drippers on a single line or in a system or zone, it won't perform as it should. What are the limiting factors when it comes to performance? And by performance, I mean how well water is evenly distributed to your plants through your drippers. The main two limiting factors are flow and pressure. If you don't have enough flow, some of the emitters will simply be starved of water and won't drip as they should if they drip at all. Pressure is a limiting factor and that if you have too low of pressure at one emitter and too much at another, the one that has low pressure will put out less water than the other one and suddenly you don't have a uniform system anymore. And if you don't have a uniform system, you're losing one of the biggest benefits to drip irrigation, uniform even delivery of water. First, let's talk about pressure. Drip irrigation is a low pressure solution and often requires a pressure regulator to reduce pressure from your water source to begin with, but that doesn't mean drip irrigation systems can't suffer from low pressure symptoms. If you do, it's usually because of friction. The more water that travels through pipe or tubing causes more friction. More flow, more friction. Smaller diameter tube, more friction. That means as long as you have enough flow, you can put more drippers on larger diameter tubing than you can on smaller diameter tubing because the larger diameter tubing eliminates a lot of that friction loss or pressure lost from friction. That's why we typically use one quarter inch and one eighth inch tubing when branching off a larger mainline, such as one half inch or three quarters inch tubing. So how do you know what size tubing to use? If you're planning out your system, check out the video there in the top right. It's a guide to sizing your tubing for your irrigation system. That covers how pressure can cause issues in your irrigation system. And when folks reach out to us having problems with their drippers or their sprinklers, they do usually think that it's a pressure issue. But in reality, most times, particularly with drip irrigation, it's a flow rate issue. All right, now let's talk about flow. Flow is often a bigger limiting factor in drip irrigation than pressure. If you have 400 half gallon per hour drippers, you have a system flow demand of 200 gallons per hour. Now, if your water source only flows at 150 gallons per hour, that means some of them are gonna be starved of water. Or to put it in another way, if you have 1,000 one gallon per hour drippers, your water source needs to be able to provide at least 1,000 gallons per hour of water. If you need to learn how to test the flow rate of your water source, check out the video there at the top right. So back to our main question, how many drippers can you run online? The answer isn't a one size fits all and depends heavily on your system's pressure and flow. If you'd like to learn more about designing a drip irrigation system or need to be walked through the entire process, check out our video right there.